What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys. What the hell is this? What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new video, man. Today, we are looking at WWE action figures that are being slept on. WWE Elites, man. Ultimates. All the good stuff. We're looking at a good round of figures. You know, I, I, can't, I don't want to go on and on for days about this, but maybe this could become a series with slept on figures, man. Stop sleeping on these damn figures. There's so many good figures out there that nobody talks about, man. And that's what this video is all about. It's about the figures that nobody's talking about about a a nobody's talking about them b i feel like you forget about these they kind of flew under the radar not necessarily like underrated figures like i guess you are, these are underrated but this is more of just figures that people are sleeping on man that like people are people are seeing these figures and they're just napping on the couch like these guys don't exist so we're gonna dive into the mystery today and we're gonna unfold the figures that are being slept on so if you guys have thought about getting these figures in your collection maybe you want to go back and grab these so let's dive the hell in to my list of underrated slash wwe figures that are being slept on. Fix the camera first, you dimwit. I'm just gonna park my happy face right here, and then we'll dive into the collection. So my first figure here is one that can really be upgraded with other things, and it is the Entrance Greats Elias figure, man. I actually like this figure a whole lot, you know, and I, Elias really got on my nerves there. For, like, I, I was a fan of him, and then he really got on my nerves, because it was like every effing week the man would open with a guitar, and that has nothing to do with the figure. I just like to think about it and say it. Also, when they did that dumb twin angle or whatever the hell that was. That was so stupid, man. But this figure has great khakis on him. I mean, look at these khakis, man. You don't have khakis like this. That sucks, dude. But I'm telling you, it's jobs. We gotta get jobs. Then we get the khakis. Then we get the chicks. You might, but you don't have them quite like this. And I put the Razor Ramon, like, flashback shirt on there. I mean, dude, this is a key piece right there. You got the little bandanas with some good stuff on it. Great head sculpt. Overall, very good figure right here. I might put me... Like, see, I have khakis, and he has khakis. But do you have khakis, Brad? Do you have khakis? That sucks, dude. Next up on our list, it is the Elite 72. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Brad. This figure is abysmal. Look at him back there. He thought it was for real. This figure is awful. This is a garbage figure. Next up, we have the Top Talents Jeff Hardy. Now, you're probably like, Brad, this is a recent release, and it is more of a recent release, but this guy was on sale for like $5 across the country at Walmart. He was on sale for $5 on Amazon before, and he still goes for cheap on Amazon. This is a beautiful figure, man. Great face paint, double jointed arms, great attire, and I'm pretty sure this is like his AEW debut gear, so if you want an updated Hardy, man, there it is. It, it is there for all the goodness. Stop sleeping on the figure, man. Just stop. Next up is an underrated one, and I feel like this figure may go for a decent price. I have no idea, but it is the Network Spotlight Jinder Mahal. This figure is impeccable. Fantastic head sculpt, fantastic formula, fantastic gear. This is a great piece right here. If you pass up on this guy and you want a Jinder Mahal, now I don't know how many people are out there in the hunt for a freaking Jinder Mahal figure, but look at the veiny arms right here, man. It, it looks just like his arms. That vascularity, it even goes under the wrist tape. This is a beautiful Maharaja. This guy is fantastic, man. He looks great. It, this is one of like the most slept on figures ever made right here by Mattel. Look how colorful we're getting. You got pinks and blues and stuff in here, man. This is great. Next up, we have the Battle Pack Triple H suited figure. Now, I know it's a Jack Swagger figure right now. However, this is just one of many guys you can make in suit with the Triple H Daniel Bryan Battle Pack Triple H. This is basically an elite, and it is single jointed, but the legs are super articulated. You have a great suited body here for a lot of guys. Fits Jack Swagger perfectly. I love this figure. This is, this is low key. If I did a top 25 favorite figures from Mattel ever, this might make the cut. I may be, I, I might be, be yeah, <laughs> I might be falling asleep on that one, Brad. I don't know if that's quite true. I'm, I, I, I'm, that was a little out of pocket. I apologize. Next up, we have a tag team and we are going with the Elite 61, I think. I think it's Elite 61. Fashion Popo, man. The Fashion Popo right here, the Brazangos of the world, or Febreze is what they should have been called. Obviously couldn't do that, but Fashion Popo is what I call them. These figures are great. Great, man. And I will say, Fandango had a just, just disgustingly egregious torso on him, but I did switch that out for a uh, Seth Rollins-style torso and arms. It looks so good now. It, it looks great. I've used it in the pick fed before. And you put all their accessories on these. These are great, man. This Tyler Breeze right here is epic. I love the pink and the black. It, it is a really underrated figure, man. He poses around, both of them actually pose around great because they're both on ball joints. Have a really great formula, great accessories. You can get a lot of play out of these guys. 
These are excellent. These are excellent. I recommend these absolutely all the way to the bank, man. And some of these figures, you know, like, if you just like WWE figures and, you know, it, it, like an Elias or a Jinder Mahal or a Fashion Popo, like, their time has kind of come and gone. But if you just want a good, posable action figure or maybe you like those guys, this is the kind of stuff that we're talking about in this video. Obviously, it's not an updated roster kind of deal, but if you just enjoy action figures, which you probably do if you're watching this channel, I just enjoy action figures. I mean, it could be a an articulated figure of a poo on the floor. If it feels, if it poses around well and it's just like, you know, fun to pose around, I'll pose that poo, you know what I'm saying? I would absolutely, like, it's just a good action figure, man. I mean, I may not buy the, I may not buy that, but I, you know what I'm saying? If I had an opportunity to pose it around, I'll pick it up, see what it's got, and then, uh, you know, you put it back down. I'm talking about an action figure form, of course. Next up, we have another tag team, and we're going with the Elite 56 Good Brothers, man. These are the only Elites we have of these. Apparently, we were supposed to get an Elite 3 pack of the club with AJ Styles and then Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson was going to be in his trunks gear. He was going to have a duster just like this, Luke Gallows duster, and I think we were going to get like a black attire AJ Styles. That, of course, did not come to fruition. I think it was going to be a Then Now Forever pack or an Elite pack of some kind. And it was going to include all three of them. But these have great head sculpts for the time. Fantastic gear. I did switch these boots out. My boy Balor Figs UK is the one that came up with that fix up. It looks sick as hell. Got the two sweet gear in there. I, I do. These are great figures. They also pose around great. Well, at least Carl Anderson does. But great light. Just kind of takes me back to a moment in time. But if you want OC figures or Carl Anderson and Lou Gallows, these are the ones to get. For obvious reasons, they're literally the only versions you can get unless you get the Super 7 versions, which I am not personally a fan of those guys. So, Super 7s. I like the club. I like Carl Anderson and Lou Gallows. I'm not a fan of the Super 7 version of those guys. Next up, we have another tag team, sort of, and it is going to be Rusev Day. We have the Aiden English from Elite 65, and we have the Elite 65 Rusev. Now, these figures were down in a box, and down in the box, the head of the Rusev popped off, and I could not find it. I was digging for a day and a half completely over exaggerated and uh, I could not I could not find it so he's headless but this is a great figure and honestly it's probably best that we show it this way because this figure right here's head sculpt straight out of the packaging is not very good it it low-key is kind of trash you have to like repaint it I, I think I repainted on surgery or something back in the day and speaking of surgery I I plan on getting another surgery in but we're gonna bring back surgery as soon as possible however I really can't because of all these damn figures packed up it's hard to get to figures and like get to the fix-ups that I need because I don't know exactly where they are but this figure poses around really well and it has a good head sculpt and the Elite 65 Aiden English I mean to, technically the reason I love this figure so much is because of the fix-up that you can do with it uh, you can give him a more ripped up torso and still keep the bones of the figure and it, it's just so good it looks so good especially with the accessories the you have the scarf the entrance shirt you have the happy Rusev day I had sunglasses on him there at the bottom of the box too but this figure is freaking great too and even if I, you know, again, another moment in time. I mean, you have so many people here that are no longer in WWE. Actually, like all of them. Like, literally nobody right here is still in WWE. Isn't that freaking crazy? At least I don't think so. But that's kind of redundant. Let's move on to the next figure in this video. And it is going to be Sheamus. Now, this really includes any elite Sheamus. But I went with the most recent one. I can't remember what it even was off the top of the dome. What, it was like Elite 99 Sheamus? What a beautiful figure, man. Double jointed arms, great head sculpt. I know I have the, like, white cult style deal going on here, but this figure is so good. The head sculpt's great. Any Sheamus figure, especially the modern ones, like, the Elite 99 is the one to get because of the coat, because of the hat, because of the formula, all the different stuff, man. You have really great stuff going on with this figure. Just a really posable guy, and any figure that replicates the character from the television is going to, is going to make money. So Sheamus right here is a figure that actually is still in WWE. He's actually still a part of it, so that's good to see. Next up, what we're talking about is going to be the NXT Elite Target Exclusive Elite No Way Jose, man. You guys know, if you're a long fan of the channel, you know that I love No Way Jose. He was great, and I went out of my way to make a crazy custom back in the day. And then, like, I want to say it was a week or two after I made the great custom. I think BEW made me this sick-ass No Way Jose head sculpt and then I made a different formula. And then they come out with this. They posted, like, a little teaser for it. And I was like, are you ishing me, Brad? I mean, Jesus. I put the R-Truth shirt on here. This isn't what it comes with. But again, man, taking figures and giving them those little fix-ups to, like, really bring them to life is the best. And I did paint over the RT right there, which you clearly see. It was a terrible job there. 
Uh, still gets the job done. I mean, it's the entrance shirt, and it's it's a very poseable figure. I had a lot of fun with this figure, and I love Noah Jose. I feel like he should have stayed in WWE. I think he had talent. They just didn't really uh, capture, you know, his true talent, I don't think. But nonetheless, we're moving on to the next figure, and this one might be, might be my favorite figure in this video. We'd have to get into it, but it is going to be the WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania 18 rock figure. This is such a good figure, and it's so slept on. This figure shelf forms everywhere, though, so there's a couple cases here. At the WrestleMania Superstore, there was 180 of these just chilling at the end of the weekend. That tells you something there. Uh, great formula, like perfect formula. Perfect head sculpt. It represents the character perfect. Poses around good enough, and it is a moment in time, man. I mean, this is like a defining moment rock figure, pretty much, in its own entirety. And this figure is just so good. I mean, what do you what do you have to say? Fantastic likeness. Really captures that early 2000s rock. This is uh, just so good. It, it's so good. This is like one of my favorite rock figures ever made. I, I, it may be my number one, depending on. I need my man PWR Lucha to send me the white team just bring it shirt from 2001. Put it on my other version of this because I do have like two or three of these. Just because it's so good and it's been on clearance because nobody's buying it because they're sleeping on it. They're asleep on the aisle. They're not looking at this. If you don't own this rock, Go buy it. Go buy this rock right now. Go buy it. Because it's a perfect representation of, of represent, it's a perfect representation of rock in this era. It, it, you can't beat it. Moving down the list, we have Elite Series 104 Solo Sokoa. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this guy. He bought it that time. You dumb jagaloon. Get this one out. But seriously, though, the last figure that we have, guys, is going to be none other than the WWE Elite 72 Buddy Murphy, man. I feel like nobody talks about this figure. Nobody talks about this figure. The unique shorts mold, the great formula, poses around nice. Uh, I mean, it's uh, we did get this, and we got the Chase version, which I have never owned. That is a figure that has eluded me so many different times. Had multiple chances to own it, and I passed it up like the Defining Moments Hogan and all those other stories that we tell here on the channel. This figure is a beast. It, it is so damn good. It's got the great graphics, the great kick pads and formula. This is a beast. I love this Buddy Murphy. Uh, I was so excited when we got that figure. Elite 72 is a really underrated wave, man. It's got a lot of bangers in it but that is the complete day of figures being slipped on today this is this is my complete list here i have no troubles with these i think a lot of these figures are slept on all great in their own ways if i had to rank these figures right now that would be very difficult to do i don't even know how i'd do that but uh we can try it i think at the bottom i would have the elias figure i'd go elias dead last i think i'd go luke gallows next because the fandango doesn't come with the fix up already i think i'd put him next so we have elias Luke Gallows and Fandango. I'd go with the Rusev figure next. I think next I would go Tyler Breeze. Next I think I'd go Carl Anderson in this spot. Aiden English, the Sheamus figure. I'd go with the Jeff Hardy just because like I know I can get my hands on that one at any moment really. I'd go the Network Spotlight Jinder Mahal. Very good figure. I'd go Suited Triple H. Yeah, I said top 25 Mattels all, all time and it's literally fourth on this in this video. I'd go Buddy Murphy at three. No way Jose at number two. Freaking just love that figure, man. Love that figure so much. And then number one would be the Rock figure. I mean, it's just such a perfect representation. How are you going to fight that one, Brad? But that would be my ranking of all these figures. And I didn't really plan on that when I started the video, but what are you going to do? But that's pretty much going to wrap up all the WWE figures that people are sleeping on, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'd love to know down below if you own any of these. Have you wanted to own some of these? What are some other WWE figures that are slept on in your opinion? Let me know all those things down below. I'd love to chat with you down there. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. A huge shout out to our patron army over there on Patreon. I always appreciate those guys so very much. Patreon has been a little bit slow because of the move really set me back in a lot of different areas, so I do apologize that, for that, but we're slowly but surely getting back into the swing of things, which I appreciate everybody's patience on, but huge shout out to those guys. I always love and appreciate them so very much, but I am getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all these things down in the comment section below. I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later, and see you next time.